Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hello, guys. How are you? How's everybody doing? Are you good? Nice, nice. Yes. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm super excited to see you today. I'm super happy you're with us. Que ya están, you know, ready for classes. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? What did you do on Saturday, Sunday? Mm, very good. Very good? Okay. Yeah. What about rain? ¿Cómo están en sus casas de la lluvia? Is it raining? ¿Está lloviendo? A little bit? Yes. A little. It's uh, raining, teacher. A little, teacher. The raining. Well, I'm super sad to listen about it, but yes, sé que las lluvias están como un poquito fuertes y les agradezco a todos que ya están acá, you know, that you're here ready for classes a pesar del clima, a pesar de, de uh, cómo está la lluvia. And, um, okay, I think we are missing some, but we're going to get started here. Um, guys, um, logran ver mi cámara. Can you see my, my camera? Yes. Lo que pasa es que no sé si es mi my, my internet, but solamente logro ver a Richard en Norberto. Eh, guys, help me please with your cameras por un momentito. Voy a pasar asistencia. I'm going to go over attendance. So if you can be so kind, that would be wonderful. Already. Thank you so much. Um, well, quiero comenzar agradeciéndoles por eh, la super responsabilidad. Ya teníamos las notas completas el día viernes. So, thanks a lot for that. Excelente trabajo. La semana uno, pues, ya pasó. Uh, increíblemente, el tiempo va volando. Estamos sobre la semana dos. Y you know, terminando esto, pues, ya nos queda un pedacito más. Así que, guys, let's go for it. Eh, practiquemos as much as we can. And let's rock. So, uh, let me check attendance. Uh, Anita, creo que todavía no está por acá. Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, no yet. Um, Brian. No yet. Carlos, por ahí vía Carlos. Hi, Carlos, good evening. Oh, good evening. Hello, glad to see you. Danny. Dani, todavía no. And uh, Guadalupe. Oh, Guadalupe is not here. Ella está super tempranito. Like every day. Natalie. I miss Natalie too. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Yes, I'm teacher. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. ¿Cómo está la lluvia por allá? ¿Es no está lloviendo? Está algo fuertecito. Ah, ok, ok. Gracias, Ben. Gracias por conectarse, Miss. I know. I know that it's kind of hard sometimes. Eh, Jocelyn, hi, Jocelyn. How are you doing? Hi, how, how are you feeling? Are you okay? Are you yes. a little sick? No? So, yeah. Or Alan, Alan, yes. Oh, were you sick? No. Yeah, a little. Wow. A little. Oh, sorry to hear that. Espero que se recupere pronto. Hopefully, you will get Thank over you. super, super soon. Oh, uh, Ignacio. Hi, Ignacio. Thank you for being Hi, here. Teacher. Hello, Norbert. Hi, Norbert. Uh, present. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Hi, Marvin. Present, present. There you go. Thank you so much. Are you working? Are you still working? Yes, I'm working. Okay, thank you, Ben. Thanks for joining. Marvin Lopez, por ahí vía Marvin también. Hi, Marvin. Present, teacher. Hi, gracias por conectarse. Thanks a lot for joining. Clary. Hola, Clary. Me alegra verla por acá. Glad to see you here. Hello, Miss. Me escucha Hello. bien. 
Yeah! Hey, your okay. voice is better. Yes, yeah. I am very, very nice. <laughs> Great. Ya me alegra. Sí, el escucho la voz más clara. So thanks a lot. You know, and thank God you, you got better there. Uh, Moses, hi Moses. How are you? Good evening. Hello, very well, teacher. Thank you. I'm glad. Y me alegra que no esté trabajando. <laughs> I'm glad you're ready for us. Thank you. Pedrina, we missed you, Pedrina. How are you? Thanks a lot. Gracias por conectarse, Miss. Uh, Rene, por ahí ya Rene también. Present, present. Thank you, Rene. I think you're next to, to Martin, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you, thank you guys. Hey Brian, thank you. Let's look for connectarse. Uh, let me see, Ricardo, Richard. Nice. Thank you so much. Uh, Abigail, hi Sandra, how are you? Good evening. So, oh, I saw her some seconds ago. Present, Miss. Thank you. Good evening. Hello, Miss. Gracias por acompañarnos, sir. Uh, Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Thank you, Chef. Estoy desde mi celular. En cuanto pueda, me voy a conectar con cámara. Gracias. Thanks a lot for that. Gracias por siempre. You know, buscar la, la forma de, you know. Thank you okay. so, so much. Ingrid, veo a Natalie por ahí. Hola, Natalie, good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos. Thanks a lot for that. It's raining here. Okay, no worries, no worries. I got you. But thank you. Thank you, though. Gracias por conectarse aún así. Okay, everybody. So, let's get started. Thanks, everybody. Gracias por conectarse, por acompañarnos. You know, in week number two, we are going to get started today con, like, we have a lot of things to practice today. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de vocabulario, grammar structures, and of course, vamos a enfocarnos un poquito en speaking. Así que let's get started with the things we got for today. Um, I have just a question here, and it says, what did you do on your weekend? Guys, help me, tell me. What did you do on your weekend? Hey, Sarah, what did you do? Did you stay at home? Did you watch a movie? Did you clean? Did you do the dishes? What did you do? Richard, let's start with you. Okay, so what did you do? I am working um, uh, doing a uh, uh, orange juice. Uh, yes, orange juice. Uh, eat a uh, pupusa. Ooh, okay. So you had some pupusas, you had orange yes. juice. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. And you worked, right? So you were working. Yeah. Okay, thank uh, you. Why what, what she watch. Uh, so, so, what she, uh, a soccer in TV. Bra Brazil versus Argentina? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the match too. Oh, yeah. okay. Italia. Italian. My, my, England, my, right? My salad. My salad. The soccer team. Oh, El Salvador select, Soccer selección. Team. Yes. yes Guys, did you yes, watch yes, the match? Yes. Did you see the soccer match? Do you like soccer? Yes. Okay. What about the rest? Do you like soccer? Not really? Or yes? Um, yes, I like it. Okay. So you like soccer. Anybody else? Only Carlos. <laughs> okay. Girls, do you like soccer? Yes, like it. Yes, we no. like. Oh, okay, number two. Okay, very interesting. What about the rest? Let's listen to a girl. Girls, what did you do? Jackie, Jackie, what did you do on your weekend, on Saturday or Sunday? Play soccer, teacher. 
Wow! Do you play soccer? Yes. Wow! Nice! Did you make any goal? Did you score a goal? Or are you a goalkeeper? ¿En qué posición juegan? What is your position? Eh, me gusta mucho el en Hilda o short. Like a, you mean like a forwarder como delantera or just like a, a fielder? Eh, no sé si es el softball. Oh, okay. So you have a, a softball match. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, okay. I, I see, I see. Escuché soccer, no sé por qué. <laughs> what I'm thinking about soccer. Okay, okay. So that's more like softball. Wow, but that's nice. Nice. Uh, I read Natalie says she doesn't like soccer. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's not for... Uh, well, not everybody likes it, right? Uh, what about the rest? Sandra, what did you do, Sandra? What did you do on Saturday or Sunday? Okay, I, I was I was driving a Panchimalco City teacher. Oh, on Saturday or Sunday? Yes, uh, Saturday. So you drove um, to Panchimalco? Yes, and eating pupusas in the Mil Cumbres restaurant. Ah, Mil Cumbres is a nice place. But did you go to Panchimalco because of work or for fun? Ambas. <laughs> y ahí Both. Both. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, but the good thing is that you had fun. So both, ambas, right? So that was both. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, guys, let's get started into the topic for today. Thank you so much for sharing your answers. And the topic is places in town. First, um, we have a question here that says, what can you do there? And we have some places. So I want you to tell me, number one, ¿qué es lo que encuentran? What are some of the things that you can find in the places? And the other one, ¿qué se puede hacer? What are some activities that you can do in these places? For example, number one is a nursery school. Number one, what can you do in a nursery school? Or what can you find in a nursery school? Can you give me some ideas? Nursery. No. Escuela de enfermería. Exactly. So what can you find or what can you do? Or in El Salvador, tell me some names of nursery schools. No remember, teacher. No idea? No remember. Okay, that's okay. No, no worries. Anybody else? PC se llama una. Where is that? Where is it located? In Flor Blanca, Suburban. Oh, okay, Flor Blanca. There is another one uh, in front of Rosales, I think, in front of the hospital, like across the street. Do you, Near do you... the Tecnológica. Yeah, also there is another, but I don't know if it is Morazan. I'm not sure about the name but I have seen the girls in white, mm -hmm. so that can work. Mm, what about the second? In a department store, can you give me some names for department store? Tienda por departamentos. Um, yes, for Tienda example, Simán, exactly. Simán, mm, galerías is more a shopping mall, like bigger, but a department no, store, mm, department store sí, but there is por, por, por locales, sí. departamentos. Mm, yeah pero todavía es un shopping mall so a department store mm. is like Simán. okay any other uh, uh, selecto, uh, selecto san miguel Sara, selecto san miguel selecto. very interesting mm, in juguetón not really because in juguetón yes, there are only toys a department uh, store sí, is a, yes. it's a big, big place that is divided in different sections. 
For example, when you go to Simán, you can buy clothes, you can buy furniture. Ah, eh, okay. ¿Qué más pueden comprar? What can you buy? Books, uh, electrodomésticos. electrodomésticos. Ah, like supplies for the ah, house. <laughs> yes. No, son a, los departamentos. Yes, yes, eh, panties. Cosmetic. <laughs> Cosmetic. Excellent. So that is a department store, a place where you can buy different, different objects. So, eh, Sara, is it a department store? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, no? uh, sales uh, and the invoice. Uh, Lots for the department. Uh -huh. Okay. For men or for women. Well, also shoes, right? They have shoes. Okay. So, yes. So, maybe Sara, maybe Simon. There was another one in Metro Sur, but I don't remember the name. It was at the bottom. That no existe. Oh, yeah, you? but. What is it? Oh, yes, yes, exactly. No, not anymore. Ahora creo que hay alitas, buffalo wings, and all those. Sunburn. Mm -hmm. Sunburns, okay. Yes, any other? La tapachulteca for the West Coast, remember. <laughs> so, Teacher, they were like department shop, stores. Shopping center. A shopping center is bigger, like Metro Center. So that's a shopping center. Yeah, no, pero tiene, eh, no, los shopping, los usados que tienen. Ok, <laughs> that's a department de cosas. store. En la gachón. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's a department <laughs> store. Ok, then we have restaurants. Um, what's your favorite restaurant, guys? Can you tell me a name? Teacher, uh, for example, Walmart. Oh, yes, that's a department store. Oh, Brian mentioned Super Selecto I like it, San Hanami. Miguel. No, yo me confundí, lo, me confundí yo. yo oh. Lo había uh, entendido teacher. mal como de por uh, uh, Teacher. No worries. Yes, Ignacio. Uh, no, no only, it's not only that uh, uh, products. For example, you know, frown, vidri, for it, that, that uh, store have a department store, for example, paint, tools, plumbing, you know. Yeah, you're right, yeah. also EPA. But the thing is that in general, a veces ellas se consideran more like um, hardware store, porque son cosas más como de trabajo. So that, that is why sometimes se les llama hardware store. But yes, they are divided like in categories. Mm, let me just check because I would see it's more like smile. Teacher, eh, Prado. Prado could be, pero es más de appliances. Like uh, um, Prado, Omnisport, La Curacao son más appliances. So suena más como un appliance store. Que son electrodomésticos, right? And things like those, beds. So es más appliance. Se los voy a escribir. Okay. I'm going to write it down here. Mm -hmm. okay. It's appliance. So the electrodomestic, we can call them appliance. Uh, ooh, uh, appliance store. Appliance store. Yes. Well, one electrodomestic, as some people say. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have restaurant. That is the next. Can you tell me the name of your favorite restaurant? No importa si es pequeño o grande, it doesn't really matter. Can you tell me a restaurant? Do you have a favorite? China's, China's uh, diamond. Chinese diamond, okay. I like Hanami restaurant. Hanami. What type mm -hmm. of food can you find there? Chinese food. Chinese. Hanami. Most Japanese food. Food by the Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Hanami, like La Curva, uh, any other? Pero me dice que reaccionó Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Hi, I like it on Charlie Boy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember you said that. Okay, Charlie Boy. Cafe Santa other? Cruz. Ooh, that's, a, that's more a cafeteria, I think. But yeah, that's a beautiful place, indeed. Um, museums, guys. How many museums do you know? Can I go to a museum? Who has gone to a museum? 
Can you give me an emoji? If you have gone to a museum. David J. Guzman. Okay. So that's one. Only Carlos guys. Have you gone to a museum? I will I will go to the Sabur Irau. Antes era museo. But <laughs> pero creo que I'm not right. I think it is not anymore. I think it is only a playground for children. Teacher, um, yes. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se llama el, el museum de guerra? Uh, en el Perkin, Perkin Morazán. Sí, ya, yeah, Perkin. Oh, Perkin. Uh -huh. Okay. What about el Zapote? I because, go to the uh, Museum Zapote. Hay una, ¿verdad? There is one. Yes, and yes, yes. yes. Okay. yes. Military history. Is the, is the, is the army or, uh, or tank or different uh, guns, you know? Yeah, because I know there is one in Zapote and there is another museum in... Uh, in radio, radio oh. transmission. Yeah, there is another place. Oh my God, I have forgotten the name. But it is in Cabañas. So in Cabañas, there is a park, like with bombs and everything. Oh, oh Sinquera. No, so there yes, is teacher. like a little museum in Sinquera. So that, that is related to the civil war. In Suchitoto, is there a museum? In Suchitoto. Mm, okay, okay. Very interesting. I haven't gone there. Okay. The other we have is a factory. So um, last time we were talking about a factory. So in El Salvador, there are like a lot of different factories. ¿Cuál es la primera que se les ocurre? What is the first that comes to your mind? Ad hoc. Ad hoc, okay. Caricias. Caricias, okay. For me, arroz San Francisco. I don't know why. <laughs> Any other factory? American bar. Ah, yes, in Opico, I think it is, mm. or Santa Ana. Yes, in um, Opico. Opico. No, Ciudad Arce. Ciudad Arce. Okay, because I think in Opico there are others too, uh, like Alas Doradas. I don't know if you have heard about Alas Doradas. I think it is in Opico, and that's a factory too. What about Alas, City? Alas Doradas es más comercializadora. No. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. I was reading on Facebook that they they produce um, books, notebooks, and everything made of paper, like las servietas, the napkins, um, toilet paper, papel higiénico. So I don't know. No sé si solo sure. lo venden or they make it. I understood they make it. Yes. In sure. In Ilopango, how a, how to much? Uh, Factory. Ilopango. Uh, yeah, Ilopango. You, uh, okay. For example, in the. It's, um, I, I, uh, sorry, sorry. It's, um, it's okay. Don't be sorry. Okay. In uh, Plyson, for example, mm -hmm. Plyson, uh, your principal product is the. Um, they make a rock table. Rock table. Wow. Okay. That's new. No, but... no, it's, it's, it's very popular. You know, for example, the oh. old the old office is constructed to use rock table. Tabla oh, roca, okay. you know. Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. So do they make it? Do they make that material? Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, let me check just something here. Or, or, or is not correct, uh, say rock table. Um, es que ahí el material eh, se le llama dry wall. Se lo voy a escribir. I'm going to write it here. So dry wall. That's the way. So es, es como el nombre del, del material, right? Uh huh. And uh, it's como yeso. It's kind of made of, of chalk. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 What is the name you said? ¿Cómo se llama? What is the name of the of the factory? Placen. Placen. Okay. 
I didn't know they made it there. Okay, thank you. The other one we have is a city hall, right? So uh, there is a city hall in every, every um, council, let's say. In El Salvador, we have like 200 and something councils. So there is one in each, one for San Salvador, one for Santa Tecla, one for Santa Ana. So that's the council. What about prisons? How many prisons are there in El Salvador? Or, or which prisons can you tell me? Sacatras, yeah. Sacatras, any other? Mariona. But, okay. Yeah, Mariona, any other? Apanteos, for example. Apanteos, Chalate doesn't exist. ¿Dónde están las niñas? Oh, yeah, el de mujeres, that's in Ilocano, right? Prisión Goma. Yeah, so that's yes. the women's one. Yeah, you're right. Then we have churches. That is very common to have churches. And we have different uh, kind of denominations, let's call it that way. So we have Catholic, Christian, uh, Muslim, etc. cetera. Uh, can you tell me some? Me pueden decir algunos nombres? Can you tell me some names for churches? For me, Catedral or La Ceiba de Guadalupe. Mm, the or... cathedrals. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they are Catholic icons. Any other? The sure Asamblea de Dios. Asamblea de Dios, okay. Uh, la Elim. Yes. Also you have Jehovah Witness, Los Testigos de Jehovah. So that is really big. The seven days. Mm -hmm. The seven days. Uh -huh. Adventist, something, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So there are a lot. We have yeah. a lot here in El Salvador. Just a little oh, provecho. Enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What is that? From Toby, the Toby, Toby priest. Uh -huh. oh, oh. Uh, uh, amigos de Israel. Tabernáculo bíblico, amigos. Oh, tabernáculo, es cierto, amigos de Israel, es, no sé, I don't know what it is. But yeah, you're right, you're right. And the last one that we have is a laundry. Is there a laundry near your house? Have you ever seen a laundry? Uh, or what is a laundry? First, what is a laundry, guys? What can you do in a laundry? Lavandería, teacher. Lavandería. Yeah. Exactly. Organizing. Is there a laundry near your in house? In Aguachapan, no, no. So in Aguachapan, no. there isn't. Oh, there it's... isn't. Okay. There isn't. there isn't any. What about in your places? Uh, in San Salvador, there is only one, I think. I don't know. ¿Alguna vez han visto una? Have you ever seen a laundry? Yes. Yeah, in the, in the, uh, for, Planes de rendero, como que va por a, para allá, hay una. Planes de renderos. Oh, no, okay. the name of, I, I, Carlos? The name of one is Martinizing. I think so. Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Martinizing also, is verdad, teacher. Martinizing, yes. also dry, dry something. Dry, dry clean. Dry clean, I think. Pero yes. eso no es tanto una laundry. <laughs> Well, yes, yes, right, yes or no. Pero no hay muchas. Now, hay otra modalidad. I don't know if you have seen it. Que están las lavadoras, las secadoras, and you can go there, and you can do it on your own. So, usted lo puede hacer. So, that's more like the idea of the laundry. Pero solo he visto una. I have, I have only seen one in El Salvador. Que he visto las lavadoras. I have seen the, the washing machines. Very interesting. Ahí en la colonia Cima. <laughs> exactly, in La Cima. Hey, Jocelyn? En el Río Lempa. <laughs> <laughs> Pero no hay washing machine, solo las señoras. <laughs> so only the ladies are the ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are the, the, yeah, we do it, you know, from time to yeah. time. So let's take a look at the following. Here we have tell companies, locations, used in there is and there are. Vamos a utilizar, if you remember, there is and there are para decir hay algo, right? To describe places, para describir uh, que hay dentro de un lugar as well, etc. Eh, ¿Logran ver mi presentación? Can you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
Diyan wala pero. Okay, there it goes. Um, <laughs> so, I need two volunteers. Let me see. I can no escuchado. I haven't heard. Anita, please, ayúdame con Tom. Help me read in the part of Tom. And... Uh, and... ¿Qué página es, teacher? Oh, I don't remember, to be honest with you. Give me one second. Deme un segundo y ya le confirmo. This is page number... 19. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. 19. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so page number 19. And the uh, Clary, uh, se siente mucho mejor? Are you feeling better? Pero no sé si me va a escuchar bien por la lluvia. ¿Se me escucha bien? Sí, se escucha súper claro. So please, if, sí. If you feel good, ayúdanos a leer la parte de Orson, please. Okay, Miss. Okay, ready? I am ready. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I'm Orson. I work for Audi. Oh, no, that company. There is an office in mm -hmm. San Salvador, don't tell. Yes, we're, grown. we're growing. So yes, yes, you're are... good, growing. Okay, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores, the, the one Now you're good, Order. the other day, Aka, the other day. Other day? Uh, yeah. So, there no, are no, six no, no, no. in San Salvador. No, no, no. We are planning on launching no, no, no. one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. Amazing. Thank you very much. Exactly. Very good job with that. Very good job with the description. Now, let's take a look at some important words here in the definition, um, in the reading in general. For example, we have the word downtown. So what is the meaning of downtown? Como el corazón, right? For example, we are talking about San Salvador and we say San Salvador downtown. ¿Cuál sería el corazón de San Salvador? What do you think is the, the heart? The core. El centro histórico. Centro. El centro histórico, cerca de la catedral, maybe, right? So, eso es downtown, como el centro de algo. You can simply say, I live downtown, como vivo en el centro de, or you can say, I live in, you know, eh, San Salvador downtown, Santa Tecla downtown, San Miguel downtown, like, es el centro, right? El corazón. Also, they say branches. There are many branches or there are not many branches. What is a branch? I know that company. There is an no, office. Son como las marcas de las empresas. Um, okay, okay. Su Otra branches. palabra de llamarle. Yes, branches. Su sucursal. Sucursales, exactly. So branches son sucursales. Um, a branch es una, una rama, right? So when we are talking about branches eh, in Companies, we are talking about sucursales, como las tiendas, where you can find. For example, if we talk about Prado, oh my God, ¿cuántas branches tiene? How many sucursales do they have? Maybe 60, maybe 100, I have no idea. What about your company? How many branches does your company have? ¿Tiene alguna branch? Or only one branch, or two branches, three branches? Or is your company very small? I Do you have branches? Yeah, my company is an industria. Then don't have branches. 
Local. Okay. They don't. They don't have branches. They I don't see. Have branches. Okay. All what right. about the rest? Our, our company have a have a branch in Guatemala, in Costa Rica. Okay, so two, Guatemala and Costa Rica. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? How many branches does your does your company have? Uh, my cooperative uh, have branches, uh, seven, seven branches. Seven, like in the country. Yes, in, in so Salvador, Cogutes, Catecoluca, San Michael, um, San Cruz, okay. Sevilla, um, y lo Vasco. Oh, yeah. okay. And yeah. the in Reina, no, ¿cómo se llama? What is the name? La Reina. No. Where do you the, live? The name of my cooperative. Al Paraíso. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm confused in La Reina and El Paraíso now. <laughs> so La Reina, yeah. El Rey y El Paraíso. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, but, but that's nice. So seven branches. <laughs> exactly. Here, for example, it says, um, here, we are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. So launching is this, right? Como abrir una nueva, um, promocionar or lanzar. And there isn't one yet. So there isn't one yet is like, cuando vean la palabra yet, this means todavía no. So in Santa Ana, there isn't one yet. Yeah? So no hay más, probably, in this place. So vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de there isn't there are en caso se nos haya olvidado. So let's take a look at the following. It says here, we use there isn't there are to state that something exists. Cuando hay algo, right? We use there is for singular, there are for plural. And si es negativa, solo le agregamos not. There isn't and there aren't. Um, for example, let me see, let me see. Moses, please, ayúdeme a leer los ejemplos de acá. Help me read the examples here on the chart. Okay, uh, there is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store in the city. Uh, there are three distribution centers in Lopango. There are not many places to have a meeting. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So now let's complete the exercise that we have right here. It says, read the sentences, find the mistake and correct it. Um, this is a topic that ya lo habíamos revisado, así que let's go straight to the exercises. Y si hay algo que no nos recordamos, vamos a refrescarlo en el momento. So, for example, number one says, um, there is two branches in El Salvador. ¿Dónde está el error? Where is the mistake in number one? Yeah, there are. Yes, exactly. Um, Mabel, de hecho, no. Uh, Respondiendo a su pregunta, actually, no. There is one branch in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So, number one, it says two branches. Entonces, no puedo utilizar is porque son dos. So, there are two branches, right? What about number two? There are one facilities available. ¿A dónde sale el error? Where is the mistake? There is. There is one. There is. ¿Qué más le voy a cambiar? Eh, le va a quitar la S. Facilities. Exactly, porque dice facilities. Y no puede ser facilities, hay una. So, hay dos posibilidades here. Number one, there is one facility. ¿O cuál sería la segunda? What is the second possibility? There are, there are a lot, a lot uh, facilities. Exactly. O le cambiamos one por un número diferente. There are two, there are three. O as Carlos said, there are some. Y es perfecto. That would be great, great, great. Okay. Three. ¿Quién me ayuda con la tres? Who wants to go for number three? There is a new offices. There are a new offices. There are a new offices. Algo más. It's a new office that are here. 
Okay. Is uh, is singular y offices is plural. Okay. Hay que quitarle la S, teacher. Al office y lo dejamos con TR. Oh, very good. También, of course, también se puede ver. There is a new office. Eso es todo. O la pluralizamos toda. There are, pero si digo there are, ya no le puedo poner el A. Yeah? So there are new offices or there is a new office. Very good. Thank you, Pedrina. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Jocelyn. We got it. Four, there are, there not are materials to work. ¿Qué pasó acá? What, what's going on here? El orden donde está el, there are not. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Voy a cambiar el orden. En vez de decir, there not are, lo digo al revés. Moses, ¿cuál sería? What would be the answer? There aren't materials to work. Mm -hmm. There aren't materials to work. Very good. We got it. Number five. Number five says, there is not three boxes in the lobby. Where is the mistake here? There is not three boxes is, in the lobby. The problem is, is the word is because mm -hmm. three is plural. The correct sentences is there are. Perfect. So there are not three boxes in the lobby. Amazing. So le cambiamos en vez de is, le ponemos are. And that will be it. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, good. Now let's take a look at the following. Vamos a revisar. Well, de hecho, vamos a practicar. We are going to practice a little bit uh, this part. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas con eh, there is and there are? Do you have any question with this? Solamente para hacer un breve recordatorio, let's take a look at the following. Utilizamos there is or there's para decir hay un objeto. There is a star. And we use there are para más objetos. There are some. Nunca le voy a poner a, sino que puedo decir dos, tres, cuatro, but I have to say more. There are some stars. There Negative. are buildings. There are buildings. buildings. Yeah, buildings. perfect. Exactly. So, si yo tengo acá, por ejemplo, there isn't a star, es la forma negativa. There is not, or there isn't. Y con there are, there are not, or there aren't. Y algunas veces le agregamos la palabra any para enfatizar que no hay ninguna. Uh, pero no es obligatorio, right? Solamente es una forma también de decir, de enfatizar, no hay ninguna. There isn't any, or there aren't any. No hay ninguna. So guys, help me out and tell me in your places, in your neighborhoods, díganme algo que no hay ninguno de. So, pueden utilizar there isn't or there aren't any, solo que con there isn't, esta palabra tiene que ser singular y con there aren't, esta siguiente palabra debe de ser plural. For example, in my place, yo vivo en un, you know, en, en un pueblo. So, in my town, there isn't any supermarket, there isn't any jail, there aren't any drugstores. Oh my God, in my, my, <laughs> Tell me. In my neighborhood, there aren't a park. Oh, okay, there aren't parks, exactly. Alguien más, anybody else? Because there is, uh, uh, como sería, varios, como se dice, teacher? There are some, la palabra que saca, there some. Are, there are some restaurants. Ah, there isn't any part, but there are some restaurants. Okay, yes. okay, good, good, good. Anybody, anybody, go ahead, guys. Que no hay en su comunidad? What is something that there isn't in your place? Okay, there are in oh, any yes. hospitals? Mm -hmm. So no hospitals, anything else? ¿Qué más hace falta in your place? What is something that is not there? There isn't a factory. Oh, there isn't a factory, okay. Okay, 
Anything else? There is in a factory. Anything else? We can take the places that we have from here, you know, for that. Is there a restaurant? Hay un restaurante en su lugar? Is there a restaurant in your neighborhood? They are not. Is there a restaurant? Okay, so there are not restaurants. Is there a museum or, oh, what about a soccer field? Hay algún campo de fútbol? Is there a soccer field? Yes. Soccer field, un campo de fútbol. Is there a soccer field? There is. There, 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 there is one. There is. There is a soccer soccer field. Okay, there is a soccer field. Correct. Sería no sería árbol. No, Ricardo, está súper bien. There is a soccer field. Ah, okay. A menos que hayan dos o tres, entonces hacemos el cambio. There are two, there are three, there are four. De lo contrario, lo dijo súper bien. There is a soccer field. Okay. Very nice. Nice, nice. Okay, okay guys. In that case, let's, let's go ahead y vamos a practicar un poquito de following. Let's take a look at this one. Um, you know that algunos de nosotros vivimos en San Salvador. Otros vivimos en lugares ya un poquito más lejos. Um, some are cities, otros son pueblos, you know, etc. So, let's take a look at the following questions. Here we have, oops, here we have, do you, tenemos un par de preguntas, vamos a utilizar the is and there are para describir nuestras, para explicar, you know, and describe our answers. Number one says, do you like living in the city? ¿Alguien le gusta vivir en la ciudad? Do you like it? Y tengo la segunda parte. How do I stay? ¿Cómo digo como en el campo? Como lejos de la ciudad. ¿Cuál sería el opuesto? We have city. In my case, for example, vivo en un pueblo. So that would be, no esos pueblitos vivos, that would be a town, right? Un pueblo. And also we have las zonas un poco más lejanas. That would be the countryside. So tenemos las tres zonas. City. A town and a countryside. The countryside is como más retirado, right? Far away from the city. Como el campo, that would be. Um, so, do you like living in the city? Or do you like living in the town? Or do you like living in the countryside? Yeah. The second question says, what are some advantages of living in the city? For example, ¿qué hay en la ciudad? There is Wi-Fi, right? <laughs> so, Wi-Fi is a big thing. Especialmente en cualquier lugar, you can find Wi-Fi. Or what are some disadvantages of living in the city? I can say hay muchos uh, carros. There are many cars. There are some, some cars, right? So, vamos a utilizar the reason that are para explicar nuestras respuestas. The other one says, do you know the neighbors who live near your house? ¿Conocen a sus vecinos? Yes, no. Yes, yes. There is only yes, one neighbor, yeah. you know. Yes, there are two no. neighbors. No. You know them. So you gotta talk a little bit about this. And what is your favorite city? Y por supuesto, why? ¿Qué hay en esa ciudad porque le gusta? So let's go ahead, guys. No van a escribirlo. You're not gonna write it down. A menos que encuentre vocabulario nuevo que no lo sabían. Please stay notes. Eh, hagan, incluyámoslo dentro de su portafolio de vocabulario y luego lo compartimos. That would be amazing. Um, vamos a irnos a grupos. We are going to join groups. Eh, again, intentemos siempre mantenerlo en inglés. Yo sé que pueden hacerlo. I know you can do it. Y si hay palabras que no las sepan, no se preocupen, díganlas en español, pero continúen. Haga su mejor esfuerzo. Do your best. And tenemos cinco minutos. You have five minutes to go and come back. So go, 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 go. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture.
Hi guys, thanks so for coming back. So um, this is a very interesting topic and I am very happy because I listen to everybody talking about this. <laughs> so I, I would like to bring this to like a bigger conversation. And I want to, of course, listen to your opinion. So number one says, do you like living in the city? Guys, who likes living in the city? Or what is better, the city, a town, or the countryside? I live in the city. I live you in love the, city. the city. Okay, you live in the city, and do you like it? Yes, yes. Because okay. my home is uh, five minutes my work. Oh, yes. <laughs> so you can, you know, go by walking, go by foot. Okay, okay, so the city. What about the rest? Do you live in the city? in a town or in the countryside? I live in the city, teacher. Do you like the city? Yes. Okay, why? Why do you like it? <clears throat> uh, I like, I like it, como le explico? Um, I in like it's okay, so. Mm -hmm. I like in my city, but, um, como se dice todo? <laughs> Te quiero decir todo oh. está muy cerca. Everything. So I like the city because I like the city because uh, all places are near. Everything. All places are near. Uh -huh. Everything is near. But. I I love living in the city, but but the outside uh, city is good tourism. Okay, so you live in this tourism. Okay, not about what about you? Sure, the the life, the living. Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, uh, the living in town, in town. Do you like uh, the town? Town, uh, town paradise. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah, my life. <laughs> I know. Do, do you yes. like it? I am how... Okay. Guys, tell me. Sure. Como dice cerca. Near. Near o podemos usar la palabra close de cerrado. So también okay. significa eh, cerca para lugares. So everything is close. Everything is close. So todo está cerca, right? Everything is very close. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, for example, uh, in my world, is close mm -hmm. uh, my house. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that sounds fine. That sounds really good. Okay, um, now talking about that, because I know that tenemos, you know, different areas here. I live in a town too, como Norberto, so I don't live in the city. But to be honest with you, hay cosas bonitas y cosas no tan bonitas, right? For example, in a town, uh, es más tranquilo. Everything is very peaceful, yeah? Pero no hay muchas cosas. There is in a supermarket, there is in a hospital. So, ¿cuáles son las advantages? What are the advantages of living in the city? ¿Qué hay en la ciudad? What can you tell me? I need to listen to different voices, guys. Talk to me, talk to me. So, what are some of the advantages of living in the city? Teacher. Yes. Uh, on the on the city, there are uh, some banks, banks, bank, the banco. Banks, okay, yes. And uh, yes, in the city, there are some banks. A uh, lot super. There are supermarkets. supermarkets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Qué más, guys? Talk to us. Okay. So there are uh, supermarkets, there are banks. ¿Qué más hay in the city? There are many places nearby. Mm -hmm. 
for example, bank, office, stores, and car wash, and... I, I really like that word. Se la voy a robar. <laughs> so, I, I really like that word. Uh, Moses utilizó esta palabra, and I really like it, so nearby. So nearby es como todo está al pasón, right? Todo está en el camino, bien cerquita. So everything is nearby. So hospitals, banks, eh, supermarkets, okay. Now, those are the advantages, que todo está cerca. What about disadvantages? Ahora viene el punto no tan bonito. So <laughs> what happens in the city? ¿Qué es lo malo? Tell me some of the things that come to your mind. Pollution. Yes. Yes. Okay. Pollution. Pollution. So one pollution. ¿Qué más? What else? Traffic. Traffic. Yes. ¿Qué más? Pollution. Traffic. Noise. 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 Exactly, noise. Ricardo? Noise, smoke. Smoke. Smoke, yeah, smoke from the cars, right? Smoke, okay. Creo que Richard tenía algo, pero se nos quebró. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Disadvantages of living in the city. Yeah. What about violence? violence? Violence en ambos, or only in the city? ¿A dónde hay más? More, Where do you more in the city. In the city or in the city? In the city. More in the city. Okay, so violence. Okay. Violence. Now, everybody, repitámosla. Violence. 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 Exactly. La violencia, right? Violence. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Oh, I get it. the last one that is what's your favorite city? Tengamos esto en consideración because ya la vamos a practicar. No la vamos a discutir ahorita, but we will do it later. Now, para la próxima actividad, tengo un ejercicio de there is and there are that I need your help for. So, vamos a utilizar there is or there are para los siguientes ejemplos for the following exercises. No son ejemplos, but exercises. Um, I'll give you you one minute y quiero que solamente you know pueden escribirlo you can write it down o lo hacen mentalmente it's okay that's totally fine but i want you to choose si vamos a agregarle there is or there are tienen solo un minutito lo pueden escribir you can write it down o solamente lo van haciendo así number one number two this okay that's fine Uh, thank you, Mabel. Oh, and I'm sorry. Acabo de, de ver la parte de eh, que tenía una pregunta. Mabel solo me confirma. Me logra escuchar. No sé si soy solo yo que no, no la logro escuchar. But, pero usted sí me escucha. Ok. Ok, ok. So, al terminar el ejercicio le, le contesto la preguntita.
Okay, everybody, so let's go ahead and check this out. So number one says there is, tenemos la palabra animals at the zoo, okay? Um, como tenemos animals, si nos fijamos, la S es un indicador de plurales. So with plurales, vamos a utilizar otra palabrita. We are going to use a different word, yeah? There are. So that one. Yeah. Exactly. There we go, perfect. So for number one, I'm going to write it here. Um, okay. Okay, so number one, this one is going to be the art. Okay, so we are going to use. No puedo borrar, creo que todo de menos. Ah, como no. Okay. So number one is going to be the art because tenemos la palabra animal, so eso es un plural. Uh, number two, a vas. Si tengo un avas, there is or there are? There is. There is. Okay. Very good. Three. I see a tree. There is or there are? There is. are. Is it a tree? There, a tree. There mm, okay. There so, is. there is porque solamente dice uno, right? There is a tree. Cars at the supermarket. Number four. There are. There are. There we go. There are. Very good. Number five. A flag at the school. So, una bandera. A there flag. Is, there, there is a flag. There is a flag. Exactly. There is a flag. Number six. A big book. Number six. A big there book. There is. There is. There is. Porque solamente dice uno, right? Solamente ah. uno. So, we're going to use there is. Number seven. What about number seven, guys? Two there big are. letters. Are. Okay. Yeah, because this is que son dos. Number eight. A lion at the zoo. There, there is, is a lion. There, are. there is. There is. There is a lion. There is a lion. Number nine. A tall tower. There, there is. There is. Yeah, because solamente hay una. So there is. Y la última, two persons. You know, there no are. es muy común decir two persons. I have to clarify this. Es más común decir two people, pero aún así, es, it's fine. So yes, there are, exactly. There are two persons. Okay, no es muy común decir two persons. Cuando veamos más de una, siempre vamos a utilizar people, pero algunas veces es eh, pasable, right? So it's fine. It's totally good. Uh, guys, preguntas con there is and there are. Por ahí escuché, you know. So talk to me, talk to me. Si tienen dudas, if you're not sure, let me know y lo revisamos. Preguntas. Okay. Gracias, Ingrid. Hello. Me alegra que está por acá. Super glad you're here. Okay. Um, Mabel tenía una pregunta anteriormente con este tema, así que voy a tomar un par de segunditos here to explain this topic. Super, super quick. Um, la palabra yet, ¿ya? Yeah. So yet es por actividades que no hemos hecho. For example, en la conversación anterior decía no hay una sucursal en Santa Ana. So there isn't one yet. Yet lo utilizamos como en español todavía, right? Cosas que no hemos hecho o lugares que no están or activities that are not done. For example, si yo digo, ay, no he hecho el video. <laughs> no lo he terminado. So I haven't finished the video, y por lo general esa palabra ya va hasta el final. And that means todavía, cosas que yo no he terminado. Or when you say, for example, no he mandado el reporte todavía. Oh, perdón, esto es negativo. So that would be, I haven't. I haven't finished the video yet. So I haven't sent the report. Y vengo, y como digo, todavía, eso se lo agrego hasta el final, yet. Ya yeah, solamente es como un FYI. Um, no sé si estamos bien con eso. Are we good with this? 
Es ayet o yet, nada más. El, ¿Perdón? ¿Reports a yet o es solamente yet? A yet. Mm, Yo digo bueno. que lo pido como I'm sending eh, report a yet. Así escuché yo, mis Oh, I haven't sent the report. Creo que es un este sonido. I haven't sent the report yet. Solamente ah. es una yet. Pero esta, esta Y no se pronuncia como yet. Se pronuncia como I. Entonces, es como si yo tuviera escrito esto. I, et. So, this is, I haven't sent the report yet. Or I haven't finished the video yet. Or no he viajado todavía. I haven't traveled yet. So, yet. Es un I, et. But yes, es para actividades que todavía no he hecho. ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Are we good? Questions. Esos son temas que les vamos a revisar despuesito, ok, pero solamente para hacer el comercial and that we could have this super, super clear. Ok, guys. So, my questions. No questions? Ok. Ok. Amazing, amazing. Entonces vamos a hacer like the speaking activity for today. That is the following. Um, if you remember before, les pedí que um, no íbamos a discutir la pregunta todavía que dice talk about your favorite city, porque es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Um, in El Salvador, there are really beautiful places. So we are going to describe a place. Okay, we are going to go over this. And second, let me just a second here. So, uh, tu, 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 tu. what we are going to do right now is the following. I want you to write, guys. Vamos a, vamos a hacer una breve descripción. I want you to write it down. And ¿qué podemos describir? I want you to select. You can describe your, your favorite city from El Salvador. Your favorite city. You can describe your office. You can describe your company. All oh, tiene branches, right? So you can describe the company. You can describe the offices. You can describe your house. So the idea is we are going to use the these and that are to talk a little bit about uh, description. So no lo vamos a hacer en grupo. We are not going to be doing this in group. But para esta actividad vamos a tener tiempo. So that means vamos a hacer rifadito. Quien va a describirlo. Y van a tener solamente un minuto. You will have only one minute to do so. So this is describe a place. Cualquier lugar que se les venga a la mente. Your favorite city, your company, your offices, or your house. Tienen cinco minutos. You have five minutes to do this. And then when you finish, uh, vamos a ir like un minuto a un minuto. Así que preparen más o menos un minuto presentation. One minute presentation. Um, last time. Decíamos que si se quedan, you know, si ya no hay en qué decir, you don't know what to say. Entonces inventemos o usamos fillers como, let me think for a moment. I don't remember. Um, that's a difficult thing to remember. So siempre intentamos seguir hablando, right? So, cinco minutos, guys. Tienen cinco. You have five minutes. Utilizamos there is, utilizamos there are, and get ready for this.
two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Guys, are we ready? Ya tenemos la descripción lista. Y remember, it's only one minute. One minute description. Do you need more time? One, two minutes? O estamos super listos. Are we ready? Yes. Or we will do it like children. Que es like, listos o no, aquí vamos. <laughs> so, I think that we can get it started that way as well. Okay. Okay, guys, remember, this is one minute. So that means, um, van a tener solamente un minuto para describirlo. But, si se les terminó lo que van a decir, si se les terminó lo preparado, y el tiempo todavía tiene más, tienen más segundos, it's okay. Invéntense algo. <laughs> so the idea is to continue talking. Vamos a trabajar con fluidez. So that means, sigan, you know, continue talking, continue talking. Um, hablen más del lugar, de los adjetivos, o the weather is super fresh, it's beautiful, etc. But keep on talking, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's get started. 
Let's get it started, guys. Um, mm, mm, Norbert, dígame un número. Tell me one number from 1 to 19. Number 7. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Brenda, you are my first volunteer <laughs> of the night. <laughs> Sorry, but cabal es como el orden que me aparece de participantes, so, but I think she's busy. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think she's doing something. But la vamos a dejar después. So, vamos a movernos un número más. That would be Brian. Brian está acá. Brian, are you here? Brian? Hi, teacher. Hey, thank you, Richard. Okay, yeah, amazing. Voy a, voy a defender a los compañeros, bye. Okay, yes. I will give you an emoji just because of that. <laughs> okay, Brendita, después de, de Richard, vamos con Brenda. <laughs> a poner la despierta, entonces. <laughs> <laughs> no, cómo no, mientras ella se prepara. Ah, okay. Wait. Pero es que creo que no nos ha escuchado. I think she's ah. not listening to us. So give me one second, solo le escribo. Okay. Let's get started. Richard, uh, tiene un minuto. Guys, ¿quién me ayuda a contar el minuto? Who wants to help me take the time? Solo que nos diga la, it's over. Okay. Norbert, thank you. Thank you so much. Solo es un minuto y usted nos indica live. Ready and finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. One moment. Okay, not a problem. Okay, the... yeah. My favorite city is Canada mm -hmm. because there is a, a fresh climate. You know, a there is transport by train. Yes, uh, beautiful. Uh, there is a more uh, depot uh, in the English study. Um, the city is bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, they are more chances of war uh, 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 because uh, are they Niagara Fall. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, also uh, they Isla uh, Capital uh, mm -hmm. because uh, the capital is Chile, Ottawa. Yes, okay. Thanks uh, over, Norbert. Canada. Yes, oh, sorry, Richard. Sorry, but time is over. Thank you. Let's give emojis to Ricardo. Okay. Guys, like el equipo. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for that. I like it because you selected a country, not only a city, but you select something bigger. That was a very nice description. Thank you so much. Um. Brian, no sé si está listo. Are you okay? Is your voice okay? No, teacher. I don't really. Okay. Are you feeling sick? Yes, I too. What do you say? True, true heart. No? Como dolor de garganta. Sore throat. Oh. Sore throat. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, so that's a, a sore throat. Creo que anda pegando unos virus un poquito fuertes, right? Like flu and sore throat. Yeah. I've heard about it. Okay, espero que se mejore, Brian. No worries. Because, because yeah. of reading. Because of? Reading. Reading. Uh, Ay. Por las documentas. Oh, okay. Eh, well, ese, yeah, but... but... Yeah, probably. Well, creo que escuché Marvin. I think Marvin, you wanted to participate? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So help us, please. Norbert, may you the comment tiempo, please? Help us with the time. Solo okay. nos dice, like, when to start. Okay. Um, A ver si me sale todo el minuto también. 
Okay, Se vele, you continue, you know, acá le ayudamos y le damos palabras. Yeah. So let's go, go, go. My favorite city is uh, Panchimalco City, uh, Metapan City, and Apaneca City, ¿verdad? The Panchimalco City, I like to... Church, me dijo que era iglesia, ¿verdad? Es colonia. Church. Church? Church, yes. Church. Church is colonial. Eh, eh, y, and Metapan City. I like is church, beautiful and white color. And is in front on the park. It's a very nice uh, in front, una fuente, point. Mm -hmm. in, my company, in my company, there is a beautiful garden that I love because that I love it because I can work here in, in the lunch hour. There are uh, cats and a uh, layer parking. Bye. Time is over. Time is over. Thanks a lot. Hey, you did it. Marvin, very good. Okay. No escuché, you know, like, uh, no, no le fue difícil, so you did an amazing job. Y la descripción fue bien clara, so thanks a lot for that. All right. Who wants to go next? Volunteers? Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Okay, Norbert, please. I will take your time. No worries. So it's eh, only one minute. Give me one second. Solo permítame tomar el tiempo. Allow me just a minute. Uh, guys, to everybody will try to participate. So let's go ahead. Ready? Go. Okay, uh, my place uh, favorite is Hotel de Cameron. <laughs> Uh, why uh, how pulse beat uh, big uh, to our restaurant okay. uh, much animals uh, okay. bedrooms which in a year a a air conditioning conditioning air conditioning uh, is comfort uh, how bees near um mm -hmm. Our discotheque, uh, two a uh, cook type birds okay. is very, very nice. Nice. Uh, Ten I seconds. Am, Continue. Uh, with Continue, my, my friend. My family uh, in the Kreshmer, in the worst. You can do it. Can do it. Time is hard. <laughs> Very good, very good. Okay, I like it. I like it. Very good job. Tengo una pregunta. Para decir compañero de trabajo es... Uh, my co-workers. My co- my co-workers. But you did it nicely. You described it very nicely. That was very clear. You made it. Okay, nice. Next okay. person. Natalie. Natalie, tengo que no escucharla. No, Natalie, you, you'll be the one. <laughs> So you'll be my volunteer, victim volunteering. <laughs> it's I, only I, one minute. You can describe maybe your office, maybe your house, maybe your company, uh, maybe a, a city. So whatever you feel comfortable with. I Ready for one minute? I'm going, yes, yes. Okay, one, two, three, let's go, let's go. I am going to describe my new home, my new house. Uh, oh, now nice. I live alone in Santa Tecla. Okay. I'm living in Santa Tecla. Uh, my my house will be a quarter and habitación, una habitación. The rooms, the bedrooms. Yes, a room. Yes, it's mm -hmm. only a room. Uh, is um, on the there tier is? is there is on the tier uh, street, okay. and the number of of my house is uh, tier three and seven, three seven. Okay. Um. In my room, the the wall are light blue. The ceiling is white. And okay. The floor, the floor is is gray. Okay. Uh, I I have my bed is really is is um, is a sofa. Um, oh. Mm -hmm. Bed. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. Uh, yes, I have a refrigerator that is small. Oh my God! Time is over. I wanted to continue listening to that. 
<laughs> that was a very good description. Unfortunately, time is over. You did it nicely. You did it nicely. You know, very natural. So good <coughs> job on that. Good job on that. Uh, let me see. Who haven't I heard? Moses. I want to go with Moses. 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 You there? Yes, you're there. Perfect. Moses, it's only one minute. I know you can do it. So let's push it forward. And uh, si se, si se le queda tiempo, right? If you have like more time, inventes algo más, but try to keep on talking, right? Try to keep on talking. So one minute, one minute. Ready? Está listo? Yeah. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's my favorite city is Chalatenango, mm -hmm. Palma city, because it has a very cool climate. Mm -hmm. and it's a very beautiful place. Okay. To spend with family and friends. I like the road to get mm -hmm. to Palma mm -hmm. because it's very quiet to drive. And nice. listen to music. Also, um, I like thing a, a lot the beaches. Okay. So in general, and like okay. the distant place where you have to drive for several hours, and okay. the place far uh, from the city where there is not nice. Much nice. Ah, uh, yeah, much nice. Okay. It's, I'm sober. The amazing Moses, I like it. I like the vocabulary you use. Very nice. I listen to the word to words like several, quiet, good pronunciation, good description. Very, very good. Yeah. Emojis, guys. No, no, we saw ningun emoji, guys. Let's give some emojis to the ones who are participating. You're doing a very good job. I like it a lot. Let me see. Let me see. Ta -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Pedrina, hello, Pedrina. No sé si, si, si me escucha. I don't know if you can listen to me. I know that el internet es un poquito, you know, it's not very helpful, but eh, Pedrina, can you hear me? Eh, Pedrina, le veo el, 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 el micrófono, pero no lo escucho. I cannot hear you. Eh. Oh, ella tampoco me escucha. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Guadalupe. Well, mientras Pedrina se, se, se alista, <laughs> while she gets ready, amazing, Guadalupe. Thank you very much. Well, guys, this is the opportunity like for us to participate. Así que let's go for it. Let's go for it. You're doing an amazing job. Guadalupe, un minuto. I know you can do it. Si no, acá le ayudamos, le damos ideas or something. So one, two, three, go. Okay. Um, my favorite place is Los Planes. Because I uh, there is a restaurant, mm -hmm. there is there are a restaurant, uh, there is a lot of tree, um, mm -hmm. and the weather is is fresh and very cool. Mm -hmm. um, the there are a three mountain where you can mm -hmm. go climb. Uh, it's beautiful, the vista, maybe. The site, uh-huh. Um, uh, there is a waypoint, very nice uh, waypoint. Waypoint, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are a uh, variety, the topical, trip, uh, typical food. Time is over, time is over, yes, very nice, okay, Guadalupe, I like it, that was like very mm -hmm. natural, I can tell, so like, I mean, I could say that no lo había escrito or anything, but you were just thinking about it, so I like it, very nice, Pedrina, si gusta, apagamos la camarita un momento, 
turn your, your camera out and the, ¿me escucha? ¿Me escucha un poco mejor ahora? Oh, se me fue Pedrina. She's gone. No me lo era escuchar, Pedrina. I think I'm losing her. Okay, okay, so in the meantime, guys, um, no worries, Pedrina, quedamos pendiente para mañana. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to have you ready for tomorrow. No worries about it. Guys, antes de irnos, solamente una cosita, um, un ejercicio que Pedrina, de hecho, me mencionó de la plataforma. Eh, no sé si ya comenzaron, no sé si alguien ya entró en check the platform and everything, but eh, el, hay un ejercicio en el, la plataforma el día de ahora, en la tarea número 6, que está marcando un poco, es el número 3, que no está marcando. So, se lo voy a compartir para que you know, lo tomen en consideración al momento de completar the platform. So, number 6 dice... Read the sentences and find the mistake and correct it. ¿Qué es el tema de ahora con there is and there are? Si ustedes bajan un poquito, tienen el número 3 que dice there is three distribution centers in Ilopango. Tienen que encontrar el error y corregirlo. So, no es necesario que ustedes escriban toda la respuesta. You know? no, solamente van a encontrar, por ejemplo, si en la número 1 considero que el error está en la palabra a, Van a escribir la forma correcta o cuál es la palabra que debe de cambiarse solamente. Por ejemplo, si no es A, sino que AN, es lo único que yo voy a escribir, AN, y eso es todo. Right? Si considero que el error es, por ejemplo, con ART, porque no tiene que ser ART, solo voy a escribir la palabra que está incorrecta. You know? Y la forma correcta, por supuesto. ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta? This is what I'm going to be writing here. Eh, let me know porque... Eh, con el número 3 a Pedrina no se la estaba tomando, but eh, puede haber solamente un espacio, Pedrina, puede haber un puntito que eh, por el teclado que a veces está en español, es que no se lo toma. Pero cualquier cosa, guys, puede estar pendiente en let me know. So, eh, ayúdenme, please, con la camarita, chicos. Allow me just, you know, some seconds. Let me have some seconds of your time para tomar asistencia. And to listen to your beautiful voices. So, me regalan confirmación, please, que estamos acá. Eh, Ana Delmi. Present, teacher. Gracias, Ana. Brenda. Brian. Oh, Brian, creo que está enfermo. I think he was feeling sick. Eh, Carlos. Present. Gracias, Carlos. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Natalie? Present. Gracias, Miss. Jackie? Oh, creo que el Chapa dijo que estaba lloviendo. Eh, Jocelyn? Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Ignacio? Present, teacher. Thank you, Ignacio. Eh, Norbert? I am here, present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Bonilla? Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Lopez? Oh, a Marvin se le fue la luz. I think this is why we don't have him here. Okay. Uh, mire, Claribel, Clary? Hello, Miss. I am here. Gracias por la confirmación, Miss. Eh, Moses. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Pedrina. Present. Well, Pedrina no nos escuchaba, I think. Eh, René. Escuché a René hace unos segunditos, but I think he's still working. Richard. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Richard. Eh, Sandra Abigail. Sandrita. Gracias, mil. Gracias por la confirmación. Acabo de leerla. And, uh, Mabel. Uh, creo que también teníamos problemas con el audio de Mabel. 
Okay. Um, present teacher, present. Oh, hello, Miss. Ahora sí, el escucha. Thank mío. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gracias, Miss. Gracias por permanecer la clase en el celular. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. No worries. Uh, Ingrid. Gracias. Thank you so much. Present okay. teacher. Yes, present. Gracias, Pedrina. Thank you so much. Gracias por la confirmación. Ok, guys. Uh, now, listen up. Tenemos semana 2. Eso significa que esta semana vamos a completar para el día viernes no, sola la, no solamente la tarea de las 6 a las 10, sino que también tenemos el examen medio, el midterm, que le llamamos, right? So, para el día viernes tiene que estar listo tanto el examen como del 6 a la 10. Please, guys, que no se les acumule. Try. Intenten avanzar. El video tenemos también la semana para poder hacerlo, pero el video es como cortito. No tiene que ser tan largo. Un minuto máximo, pero describiéndolo. Right? That would be amazing. Norberto, dígame. Mm, sí, a question. Eh... Con respecto al video, todavía se puede subir. Yo lo tengo, pero no lo he podido subir. Eh, sí, por supuesto. Tenemos esta semana para subirlo. We have this week to upload it. Okay. Um, si ya lo tiene listo, you know, solamente lo sube a su drive, copia el link y el link es lo que me va a pegar de lo que usted ha hecho. Uh -huh. eh, creo okay. que escuché, teacher. Sí, fíjese que estoy haciendo la tarea número 6. Y exactamente como usted dijo, las primeras tres, así es. Pero la cuatro y la cinco no me lo agarra así poniendo solamente la palabrita incorrecta. Correcta. Mm, ¿La tres ya, ya le funcionó? ¿Todo bien? De la uno, de ese mismo ejercicio, de la número seis, la uno, dos y tres me, me quedaron bien, o sea, me quedaron correctas. Pero la cuatro y la cinco que es después de donde porque en la 3 ay, perdón no se preocupe en la, la, uh -huh. en la 3 está the street this distribution centers en el fango uh -huh. pero después de eso está otra vez es, describi, es describiendo solo que en plural uh -huh. Va. luego de ese Está de a news office. A news office. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces ahí tendría que ser para mí de mm. My name is. O oh, se quita la L. Yo puse toda la oración. Mi hay que ponerla toda. Sí, no, fíjese que no es necesario. No es necesario ponerla toda. Pueden escribir la forma cortita o la pueden escribir completa. El único detalle es que en la número 4, yo salí, la palabra incorrecta no es el is, sino que hay otra. Entonces, eh, most likely por eso es que le está marcando mal. Hola, Ingrid. Dígala, dígala. No, no le puedo dar la respuesta. <risa> Clary. La número 5 no me funciona de ninguna manera. La número 5 es porque vamos a cambiar una palabra. Eh, ¿Se recuerdan el ejercicio anterior que les decía que la palabra persons no es como muy común, que en vez de persons utilizamos otra palabra? Entonces, esa es la palabra. <risa> That is the word. Ya no les puedo decir más, guys. I cannot give you more than that, okay? So, please, avancemos. Eh, no esperemos hasta el día viernes o hasta el día jueves porque van a estar más cansados, you know, y se les va a acumular. So, si pueden avanzar un poquito más durante la semana, hay ejercicios bien fáciles. Así que, let's go ahead, right? Chicos, gracias por su tiempo. Gracias por acompañarnos a pesar de las lluvias y los cambios climáticos. Nos vemos el día de mañana. See you tomorrow at 8. Que descansen, sleep well, and no se les olvide el video. Bye, everybody. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.